50, produces over 20 TV shows, but he still meets all kind of skepticism in this business field. So we talked about the way people can undervalue new things. Here's some highlights. Do you still find that people are undervaluing some of what you and your team are doing? They're going to always undervalue what you're doing. If they were overvaluing what you was doing, mm -hmm. you'd have a really good life going. Are people less as like, likely to test you if they know that you'll go all the way? Yeah, they'll, they'll go around you instead of hitting a brick wall. This is why it's like in the environments uh, that there's people who are aware of each other that don't actually deal with each other. Explain. When they're alike. Our second most watched interview of all time is 50 behind you, Bill Gates and Bob De Niro. That's right. <laughs> Bill Gates and Bob De Niro <laughs> behind me. <laughs> what was the one person that was in front of me? Uh, Andre uh, Korzarev. Let me think of something to say or something. It's, it's expected because my audience now is grown. Like, like I was saying, I, and they are watching your show. That's why it's number one. It, it's, it's tapping into a side of the entertainment side, Ari, where... The eyeballs, the person who just decides to look because 50 Cent is there is going to learn something from the news as soon as I come off it. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Like, and they're already tuned in and their, their ratings are already higher than everybody else. So did I tell you he was going to be number one the first time I came here? <laughs> now, you heard 50 there. He was actually joking about the one guest who drew more views than his interview, Kremlin vet Andre Kozarev, who actually joined us, you can see there, to speak out about Putin. And he said aides sometimes have to go to the Russian boss by escorting them to the grave. Is there anyone inside the Russian government who can even give him the bad news? That is less possible than overthrow him. That's a Russian tradition. They, they uh, fear to tell the boss the truth, but one day they might come with a uh, weapon and escort him uh, either to the grave or to re um, retirement. Yikes. Now, that interview made waves. It's the only one that went more viral than 50 Cent, as noted. Now, here's where things take a turn. After this new interview aired and 50 joked about that Kremlin vet, Kozarev posted a response online. 50 had asked who he was, and Kozarev here turned the tables, tweeting, actually, people are asking him, who's 50 Cent, with the LOL emoji. It's unusual to have a Kremlin vet ribbing 50 in public. And he came back by citing the original interview, the clip I just showed you, 50 Cent asking, how are you feeling? I'm happy you're still alive. Putin didn't like that issue, said. Be careful now. Fact check, true, Putin didn't like it. Now, at this point in the sparring, let's be clear, anything could happen. But the veteran foreign minister's diplomacy then came out. Everything I'm telling you is new and true. He publicly lowered the temperature with a reply saying his son is a 50 fan and appealing for support against Putin, which would mean a lot for Ukraine. And from there, well, a truce came into bloom, 50 replying, it's all love and positive energy. All right. So if you had a Kremlin defector responding to 50 cent on your bingo card for this young year of 2023, well, here you are. The exchange offers some lighthearted fun. It also kind of by accident, perhaps, or kind of randomly, reinforces something that 50 Cent was talking about and that we explore right here on this show, that you can't limit people by categories. You can't undervalue people by assuming you know what they stand for, who they are, because you know one thing about them. Now, this whole thing, I can tell you, made some music and international headlines right here about the unexpected back and forth. One of them, for example, reads, 50 Cent wonders why Russian politician Kozarev has more views than him on Melbourne's The Beat. Kozarev responds and other assorted coverage. And by the way, if you know 50's lyrics, you know if you look closely, 50 don't back down. So honestly, this is a pretty good outcome.